So I was just at school, right? And I was looking, I was scrolling through my, um, my recommendations. And I saw a Cyrus video, and, and it was a Kai, it was about a Caillou animation. And, and that, it, it was so bad, so I decided that I would make a Caillou video too. Now basically, this is just like Caillou animations, these people who make like <laughs> animations with Caillou in it using like Go Animate. And they're just so bad that I hope they're jokes, because if they're not, ooh. But if you don't know what I mean, you'll see right now, so let's start. Okay, so it's literally been five seconds and there's so much things wrong. First off, Caillou's dad, apparently, just walks up to him and like take, has a frying pan and uses telekinesis to hit this four-year-old in the head with the frying pan. Like, like, he literally used telekinesis. Right off the bat, this is just making no sense at all. What the hell, dad? Why did you hit my head with a pan? It really hurt. Kalu, you are five now, and remember what is happening today. Oh crap. Today is my first day of kindergarten. I am so 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 screwed. Why did he say that so 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 much times? And also, why does Caillou's voice sound like that? He he literally just said he was five, why does he sound like an adult? You'll be screwed before you even make it into the classroom if you don't get your backpack. Okay, can I take my computer? Come on. Who the hell designed a backpack that cannot fit my computer? Companies these days. Um, Caillou, that's because backpacks aren't made to fit computers. You have a whole, like, gaming setup right here with, like, the RTX 3000. Of course you can't fit that in your backpack. I know you're five, but you're such an idiot. Wait, what? These books are super glued to this Gonimut scene? Why Alvin hung? Why? What? What? He just like flew up onto his bed and said, oh no, these books are glued to this scene. Why Alvin someone? Why? What, what is that? What does it mean? I'm guessing that's the person who made, like, the pack on, like, Go Anime, but, but still, what, this is so weird to just bring up out of nowhere. But seriously, though, why did, why did Caillou, like, fly on his bed? He literally flew. Well, I'm sure the school has supplies. Oh, wait, I need to get my lunch. <laughs> okay, I'm, I hope I'm not the only one who saw that. Caillou's backpack is just, like, following him. Like, like, look at that again. They couldn't even make him, like, hold it or anything? They had to make it, like, follow him? This is so weird. Wait, what? There is no lunch. Oh, my dad must have not made it yet. Okay, then. I should just go ask dad where my lunch is. Okay, Kalu. Do you have everything you need? No, I can't find my lunch. Oh, on the way to school, I'm taking you to McDonald's to get you lunch. Okay, I guess I can have McDonald's. Okay, why is the dad so nice now? I thought he was a bad parent considering, you know, he hit his child with a frying pan using levitation. But I guess the dad's so nice, so now he's gonna go get him, like, a Big Mac from McDonald's or whatever he said. The story's not adding up and it just gets worse from here. Like, th this next part, it it's the worst. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. How may I help you? I would like two Big Macs, please. I'm sorry, Big Macs aren't available until 11 a.m. I will call the police if you don't give me two Big Macs. Okay, okay geez, I'll get you two Big Macs. Okay, here is your Big Mac. Okay, thank you very much. Okay sir, that will be eight dollars. Give me the two Big Macs for free or your life. Okay, okay, here, take the Big Macs, I don't want to die. Okay, thank you very much ma'am. As I said, that, that was just so bad. I mean, even if they did call the police for not giving them Big Macs, it's not like the not like the police could do anything. And you can't pay eight dollars for a Big Mac. You have to like be like, oh I'm gonna kill you if you don't give me two Big Macs, really? And this dad just switches from like nice to mean all the time. Like he hits Caillou in the head and then he takes a gun, he 
puts on the gunpoint at the um McDonald's worker for a Big Mac? It's 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 eight dollars. It's it's not that bad. I don't I don't know why you would do that. They couldn't even try to make it make a bit of sense. Okay, Kalu, have a wonderful day at school. Good morning, class. My name is Mr. Kimball. I am so excited to have you kids. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Did you just see that? They all just, like, put their hands on their hip all in synchronized. Like, like, look at that. Like, somebody watched this. Watched this back and was like, yeah, that's good to post on YouTube. You just made, like, four people all put their hands on their hips and synchronize. Why would you do that? There's no point. This isn't good. Okay, class, we are going to play a game that is extremely fun. We are going to play Who is Your Daddy, and what does he do? Shut up. Ha 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 ha, you are so funny. What just happened? Please explain to me what just happened. He's like, uh, tell me what your dad does, and I'll just made piano sounds, and then he just goes, shut up. Like, what happened? I can't understand. And, like, all the kids are, like, terrified. Why? Why? What is happening? I really don't know. This is- it's just so bad. And it- and it is seriously just gets worse. Hey, your father told me about you. I will give him a bad report if you don't stop laughing. Wow, you are just one funny guy. I'm giving your father a bad report no matter what. Kalu, put that down right now. Absolutely not. Don't you dare throw the piano. He's five! How did he pick up like a grand piano and throw it across the room with with ease? This is making no sense. I, I can't, I, I don't even, I can't even, I have no words. I'm so distraught by this. It's just so bad. Now, Mr. Kimball, give my dad a good report now. Absolutely not. Fine, you asked for it. Wah wah wah. He's five out and he kicked the teacher across the room! And how did the teacher kick him all the way across the room back? <laughs> I'm pretty sure if a kid t kicks you across the room, you still can't really kick him back because he's five years old. Wah 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 wah. Hey, that is child abuse. No, it's not child abuse. You literally threw a piano and kicked me across the room. Well, you are the worst teacher I have ever had. You are even worse than my preschool teacher. That's it. I'm taking you to the principal's office. Leo, you're in charge until I get back. So, Detective Kimball, what happened today? Wait. What? You are a detective. Yeah, I am. Back to what you asked me, Mr. Principal. Kaila threw a piano and kicked me across the room. I knew this was going to happen. You knew that Kalu was going to kick the teacher across the room and throw a piano? What do you mean? And also, they're just going to skip right past that he's an agent? Like, they just skip right past like it was nothing. Why even bring it up if you're just going to skip past it? Your old teacher, Miss Martin, told me a lot of bad things about you. She said one time you snuck Call of Duty to school and played it. You know what? I'm taking this to court. Okay, detective. Order in the court. Order in the court. But, but, but he's five! I don't think they can take a five-year-old to court! And also, tell me why the judge looks exactly like the the teacher. Like, look, side by side. They, they just used, <laughs> reused the same model. I am former California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, and today's case is about Caillou throwing Detective John Kimball's piano and kicking him across the classroom, so we will talk to the plaintiff, Detective John Kimball. So, please describe your side of this case. Well, it was the first day of school, and one of my students ruined my piano and kicked me across the classroom. I wasn't injured but I am amazed that a five-year-old can do that. Okay. Yeah, me too. I'm pretty surprised that a five-year-old could kick you across the room. Either you're really weak, or Caillou has just had some really strong legs. And arms, be because he threw a piano. Okay, I ask for the defendant to step up to the stand. Okay, Caillou, please describe your side of the case. Well, Mr. Kimball sat down on his piano, and which made the whole class laugh. And he told everyone to shut up, but I kept laughing. But he was getting mad, so I threw his piano. Okay, so I actually didn't realize this until watching it back right now to think of things to say. 
but the piano noise is because he sat on the piano. But like they couldn't they make it a bit more clear? Because I had no idea and still watch until watching it like right now. Like I just realized that. Okay, now I call the witness to speak. Okay, so Kalu has been a horrible student, and he was in my preschool class, and now he is even worse than before. Kalu never assaulted Miss Martin. Okay, Leo, thank you for your side of the case. Now, vote whether or not Kalu is guilty. 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 <laughs> that's, that's his dad. That's literally his dad. Why does he want him to go to jail? Why is he saying he's guilty? I feel like as his dad, he wouldn't just go guilty. And also, you threatened a McDonald's worker. Why don't you do it to this guy over here? I hereby sentence Kailu to four months in prison for assault and damage of property, and no parole. Case is dismissed. Kailu, this is unacceptable. If you never misbehaved, you would have gotten ungrounded, but no. This is the worst thing you have ever done in school. That, that's literally just where it ends. He just, he's just like, oh wow, maybe don't misbehave and you won't go to jail. It just ends right there. <laughs> it's so bad. And why is the dad mad at him? He said Kaiu was guilty! To go to jail. Why is the dad mad? He he said he was guilty. Why would you do that? So as you could see, these Caillou animations, they're just so bad. I don't care if this is a, this is a joke, because I'm pretty sure it is a joke. But still, it's just so bad. I don't know why you would spend your time making a joke like this. Because even if it is a joke, it's a waste of time. And it's just so bad, it makes no sense. They could at least try to make it make a bit of sense. But no, they don't. And uh, that's all I have. So hopefully I get to see you guys next time. Bye.